Welcome back everyone. Today I will recap a 2006 Indonesian horror film named Kuntalanak, or The Chanting. Before we start, it is a request to please like and comment on the video as it will help us to grow our reach. At the beginning of the movie, we see a girl named Samantha performing a ritual, in which she is cutting her hair with a scissor, but suddenly she wakes up, and it turns out to be a nightmare. She then calls her boyfriend Agam, who asks her if she had that bad dream again. But she disconnects the call without saying anything. Her stepdad then knocks on the door and asks her to accompany him as her mom is dead and doesn't think of him as her dad anymore. Sam leaves the house and decides to live in a boarding house. She asks some locals about the address of the house and one of them tells her that it's on the edge, beyond that cemetery, and that she must ask for permission when she passes that tree. Now because Sam did not believe all this, so she ignores that tree and goes ahead. And when she reaches the boarding house, she notices that it is very old. There she meets the manager Mrs. Yanti who brings her inside the boarding house and tells her that there are boys' rooms on the ground floor. Sam sees some photos on the wall there, and Yanti tells her that this place was Mankajiwo's Batik factory and it used to look like this, and the landlord's children and princess lived there once. She then shows her the painting of Sukma Mankajiwo, and tells her that she is the great-granddaughter of Penambahan Wurkakakti Mankajiwo. She then asks her if she often pray, to which Sam says nothing. A girl named Dinda then comes there and tells her that she has been here too long and got too comfortable that now she can't leave. Yandy then tells her that the owners have closed the second floor for a long time, so she should not try to enter it. Yandy then brings her to her room and tells her that this room is intentionally made bigger than the other rooms, but the price is the same. Sam notices an antique mirror in the room and Yandy tells her that this is the Mankajiwa mirror and not all rooms have it. Sam says it's beautiful. Yanti asks Sam why she wants to rent a room when she lives in Jakarta, to which she says her parents have passed away, so she is on her own. Yanti tells her that there was a fire a couple of years ago. The building next door was a batik factory, and this was their dorm. She also tells her that this floor is only for girl, so men are not allowed as it brings bad luck. Meanwhile, Agung's friend Ewing tells him that if Sam has the same dream over and over again, he should do something about it. He gives him a book to read, saying he thinks his girlfriend dream doesn't originate from her subconscious mind but from another realm. Here Sam says she can't see that haunted tree near the cemetery, to which Yandy tells her not to believe what the people around here say. Some nonsense people even call it the Kuntalanak tree. Kuntalanak is a myth from her parents' era, and her grandma used to scare her with it that if she come home late, Kuntalanak will kidnap her. She tells her that if her laughter sounds close to them, it means she is still far away, but if her laughter sounds fading away, that means she is near you. She then tells her that there is a chant to summon Kuntalanak and begins singing Ling Sir Wengi. Sam gets uncomfortable hearing that chant and she starts getting dizzy. Yanti asks her why she is acting like she has seen a ghost, and tells her that the only person who can summon Kuntalanak is the one with the special gift. Now at night, Sam was on her way to meet Agam, when a kid tells her that someone is looking for her, and then her mother calls her to come home. Sam then meets Agung and tells him about her dream, that it was dark, and there was something burning her. There was a plate, a stone, and a pair of scissors in front of her. Agung says the color black relates to fear and anxiety, and Sam tells him that people near her boarding house say there is a Kuntalanak in the tree. Now when Agung comes to drop her off at the boarding house, she tells him not to look at the tree. However, when he is going back through the cemetery, we see someone sitting on the trunk of the tree, and Agung feels something strange under it. He then notices a broken tile there, and when he checks it, he finds some symbols on it, and he leaves there with that tile. Later that night, Sam wakes up hearing Ling Sir Wengi, due to which she gets scared. The next day, Sam pays rent to Yanti, and Yanti tells her not to put this chair facing the corner as it bring bad luck. Meanwhile, Gung shows that tile to his friend Ewan, who tells him that it could be a drawing of a root that relates to a tree, and asks him if there was a tree nearby. He tells him he got it from a huge tree and it was surrounded by a fence in the middle of a cemetery. He also tells him that the boarding house is owned by the Mankajiwo family. Ewing's mom gets shocked to hear this and tells Gung that it's a satanic ancient cult, and as far as she knows, that cult had finished off by the locals and the authorities. Ewing then tells Gung that Kuntalanak leaves in a tree, and Gung says the people there also say there is a Kuntalanak there. Ewing shows him a picture and tells him that Kuntalanak is half woman and half horse. There are many Kuntalanak in Sumatra and Kalimantan, and some have children and some steal babies. In East Java, people use them to get rich. Kuntalanak leaves in a tree, but if it wants to come out into their world, it uses a wardrobe chest or antique objects. Now Gung thinks that if there is really a Kuntalanak at Sam's boarding house, then where does it come out from? Meanwhile, Sam is going to meet Gung when she notices that her purse is not in her bag. 
Only then she sees that the purse is lying under the chair, and when she picks it up, she moves the chair and accidentally turns it towards the corner. Now that night, she wakes up hearing some noise, and when she gets up, she gets terrified seeing Kuntalanek sitting on that chair combing her hair. She then suddenly wakes up and sees that there is no one on the chair, however, she finds hair on it and immediately turns the chair. She then hears some music from the next room, and when she goes there, she finds that Maurer has her boyfriend in her room. Maurer starts yelling at her, so Sam starts to leave quietly, but Maurer threatened her saying she is new here so no need to be smart Alec. Suddenly Sam goes into a trance and begins singing Links Her Wenke. Maurer gets a bit scared seeing this and her hand starts shaking. Sam angrily stares at her, causing Maurer to drop the scissors and her nose begins bleeding. Only then her boyfriend comes out of the room, and then Dinda also comes there and asks her to get out of there with her man. Sam then rushes to the washroom and vomits, and gets terrified seeing maggots in her hand. Later that night, we see Kuntalanek coming out of that mirror, and as it goes out, Sam suddenly wakes up. She then finds some nails in her room, and a scratch mark on her door. Now when she goes out to check, she finds scissors there. She follows the Kuntalanek downstairs and sees someone very quickly passing by the cemetery. We then see Maur and the man in a motel, who takes money out of her bag and says that he is going to buy a wine. Maur asks him not to leave her alone as she is scared, and only then does she hear someone laughing from far away. But the man does not believe her and leaves there. Now as she sits on the bed, we see Kuntalanek sitting behind her, but she disappears the next moment. Maur gets terrified, and then the fan in her room turns on automatically and falls on her neck. The next morning, Sam finds a scar on her neck. Later, Agung sees the news about Maur that her body was found with her head twisted to the back, and she was last seen alive at her boarding house in the suburbs of Jakarta. Meanwhile, in Dinda's room, Sam tells her that yesterday she wishes that Maur would die. Dinda shows her work to Sam, but Sam notices the same antique mirror in her room, and Dinda says there are only four of them. In here, her room, Rada's room, and one more could be on the second floor. Agung then comes to meet her, and Sam notices some offerings in front of Sukma's photo. Agung tells her that he heard it in the news, to which she says it's good it didn't happen here. She then introduces Dinda to Agung, and she tells him that she will take care of his girlfriend. Later, Ewing tells Gung that there is something wrong with his girlfriend's boarding house. He then shows him an article saying that the person was killed by Kuntalanek, and his head was twisted backward. Now that night, Sam tries to peek into the second floor, and she sees a glimpse of Kuntalanek there. Suddenly Elfon comes there and she gets scared, and he tries to take advantage of the opportunity. However, something happens to Sam, and she begins singing Links Your Wenge. Elfon starts feeling dizzy and Sam angrily starts walking towards him, and then his nose also starts bleeding. He then gets scared and runs away from there. Sam then goes to the washroom and vomits maggots again. Meanwhile, Dinda notices the mirror in her room moving, and we see Kuntalanek coming out of it. On the other hand, Alphon notices that his reflection in the mirror is smiling creepily, due to which he gets terrified, and when he goes to tell his friends about it, all his friends smiles looking at him, so he runs away from the boarding house. Here Dinda comes to Sam's room and asks her did she hear strange sounds from her room. However, she finds that Sam is in some kind of trance. We then see Kuntalanek chasing Alphon at the speed of his car, and then she attacks him, causing him to crash his car on a pole. The next day, Madame Sukma visits the cemetery, and we see her talking to the tree, before going to the boarding house. We then see her with the auntie, who tells her that she wasn't certain at first, but then when there was a second victim. Sukma asks her why did she chant that dermo, to which she apologizes to her. Sukma says that it's fate that the chanting chose her, and she wants to meet that child. Meanwhile, Sam overhears that Alphon died, and his head was twisted backward, and she thinks was it because of her. Later, Sukma meets Sam, and she asks her why she is wearing a scarf on a hot day like this. Only then Gung comes there and Sam runs to him. Gung asks Sukma who she is, to which she tells Sam that she does need weaklings like him. We then see them with Ewing, who asks her does she feel cold after she has these dreams. Because if she feels cold after a dream, it means something comes out, but if she feels hot, something comes in. Gung finds all this nonsense and calls Ewing to the side and tells him not to ask all these questions. Meanwhile, Sam checks his book and finds Kuntalanek's picture in it, with the line the strong will be the keeper written on it, and as she reads it, the book closes on its own. Sam gets up and leaves there saying she has classes. Gung goes after her and asks her not to be offended by Ewing's questions. He tells her that he always feels guilty, but she asks him what's wrong with him. He gets angry and says she is becoming more distant with him and why she forgave him if she won't forget about it. Sam says when she needed him, she wasn't sure where he was. He knew her mom was very ill, but he still chose to go out with his friends. He asks her to forgive him, but she asks him where he was when her mom passed away. She then begins leaving, and when Gung tries to stop her, she angrily asks him to leave her alone, and then something begins happening to her. 
She begins singing Ling Xiu Wenge, and Gun gets scared seeing this. He begins feeling dizzy and his nose starts bleeding, and then she runs away from there. The next day, she gets a call from Gung's mother, who tells her that Gung has not returned home. Sam tries to call him, but his number is not reachable. Later, Dinda tells her that maybe he is giving her time to be on her own, to which she says he has never done this. Now that night, Sam hears Gung calling her name and asking for help. She comes out looking for him, and the lights of the building begin flickering. She then comes to the second floor, but only then Yandy comes there and tells her that she told her never to open that door and asks her to get back to her room. Later, Dinda suggests her to check the hospital too, to which she says she did already, but he is not there. Sam then gets up and asks her if she likes her boyfriend, which she gets shocked to hear and asks her what is wrong with her. Only then something begins happening to Sam, and she begins singing Links or Wenge. Soon after, Dinda's nose starts bleeding, and Sam asks her to go away, telling her that she is in danger. Now when Dinda is going to the bathroom, she hears someone laughing, but she ignores it and enters the bathroom. However, when she is taking a bath, suddenly Kuntalanek haunts her, due to which her head hits the wall and she dies. Dinda's death creates panic in the boarding house and all the children start leaving there. One of the girls comes to Sam and asks her why she is still here, to which Sam says Gung is here and she is going to find him. Later, Sam again hears Gung crying for help, and when she comes downstairs, she finds blood marks going toward the second floor. She breaks the lock and enters the floor, where she finds many strange items related to witchcraft, and there is also Gung sitting in a corner injured and covered in blood. Sam goes to him and asks him what happened, but he gets scared of her. Sam tries to take him away from there, but they find Sukma outside. She tells her that she already told her to distance herself from weak humans. For many decades, the Mankajiwo dynasty used the Kuntalanek to get rich. In this house, they gave them human sacrifices so that the Kuntalanek would still be under their command. Everyone died in the fire, and that was the end of the Mankajiwo lineage. She doesn't have any children, so no one can continue the chant to summon the Kuntalanek, but she has that gift. This power can fulfill all her desires. Sukma whispers something in her ears and takes her under her control. Gung tries to stop her from going with Sukma, but he gets terrified seeing that she is possessed, and she starts singing Lingsir Wengi again. He tells her to fight it, and after a while, Sam faints. After this, she becomes normal and starts leaving from there with Gung, but Sukma starts following them. Sukma then knocks Gung unconscious and tells Sam that she has to accept the reality that she has the gift, and if she let her teach her, she will gain lots of wealth. Sam says she won't carry the legacy of the chant of the Kuntalanak, and she will report about her activities here. This makes Sukma furious, and she begins singing Links or Wenge. Now Sam does not understand anything and she also starts singing. Due to this Sukma's nose starts bleeding. Now Sukma starts begging for her life saying she doesn't want to die yet, and asks her to break all the mirrors as Kuntalanek comes out from there. Sam goes to her room to break the mirror, but suddenly the light goes off and the mirror starts shaking. She then gets terrified seeing Kuntalanek coming out of the mirror and start getting those visions that she used to dream regularly. Sam breaks the glass by throwing scissors at it. She then rushes to Dinda's room and breaks the mirror with a stone. After that, she throws a plate on the third mirror and breaks it. But only then she remembers that there are four mirrors. She runs to the second floor to break the last mirror, but by then Kuntalanek has come out of the mirror. Sam gets terrified seeing her, but then Kuntalanek disappears from there. Sam then sees Sukma there, and she starts asking Sam for help, but from behind, Kuntalanek kills her by twisting her neck. She then appears in front of Sam, and with her, she also has two daughters, seeing which Sam gets shocked. They both go to Sam and start playing with her, and take her in front of the mirror. Sam manages to escape from there, but then Kuntalanek begins moving towards her and grabs her by her throat. Gung asks her to be strong, and Sam begins chanting the strong will be the keeper. This makes the Kuntalanek retreat, and she goes back into the mirror. A few days later, Gung comes to the boarding house to meet Sam. He asks her that he has found a cheap boarding house for her, then why does she stay here? Sam tells him that the air is nice here, and then she starts humming Links or Wengi, which Gung gets shocked to see. At the end of the movie, we see that one mirror is still left, which means Kuntalanek is now under Sam's control and she will carry forward this legacy. Please like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon never to miss new video updates. Thanks for watching.